क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू क्लासिफाई डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इन्वर्टर इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन व्हाट आर द इन्वर्टर्स हाउ दे आर कैटेगराइज एंड व्हाट basically the use of the inverters and what is the basic difference between the rectifier and inverters so in this video we are going to classify we are going to uh, differentiate the different types of uh, inverters according to some parameters so let's start with the classification with the different types so first of all inverters can be classified based on the nature of source the nature of source can be used it can be a voltage source or it can be a current source so basically source you need to have some voltage source or you need to have a current flowing through the circuit then only the thyristors which you are using in a circuitry those will act as a closed switches and there can be a flow of a current through the device that is what we want once it is started conducting you can convert your dc voltage into ac form so let's see what type of source can be used so you can go for a voltage source inverter that is named as a vsi or you can go for a current source inverter that is a csi now here input is provided by a ripple free dc voltage source now simply when it comes to the voltage source it will be the voltage connected to that particular circuit it will be a dc voltage because it is inverter that dc voltage should be ripple free dc voltage now when it comes to the current source inverter your voltage source is first converted into current and then it is applied as a current source to that particular circuit now if you want to have a current as a source current from where will you generate a current obviously you need to have a voltage and you need to have a some resistance then only you can you can generate a current source so first of all the voltage is given and that voltage will be converted first into current form and then it is given as a source for that particular inverter so these are the two types of inverters those are based on the nature of source next type of classification we have the classification based on the configuration of the inverter as we have discussed the configuration uh, is configuration is we can see the way your devices are connected with each other so either it can be series inverter series inverter is when your thyristors are connected in a series or it can be a parallel inverter or a push pull inverter if you have studied the amplifier part in a analog electronics Uh, you can say uh, or operational amplifier there we have used this push pull inverter we we also have a push pull amplifier so if you uh, remember the configuration of those amplifiers then it is a similar configuration it we are just talking about the configuration that means the input source the load and the switches which uh, the devices which can be used as a switches the way they are connected this is how form the configuration so it can be a series it can be parallel or it can be bridge bridge that means it will be connected in a anti parallel way so if you go back and if you memorize the rectifier part you can understand what are the series i have shown you in semi converter also in bridge inverter also we have seen the series connection we have seen the parallel connection and we have seen the anti parallel connection when those uh, we are connected diagonally that is known as a bridge inverter so all this configuration we are going to study in further topics also but this is all about the configuration so depending on the different types of a configuration your inverter can be categorized in three part the next is classification based on nature of output waveform no need to have your output is a sine wave now what you are doing with inverter is your input is a dc input source and you are getting output as a ac voltage source but ac when we think about ac we only know that sine wave we should have the wave like this that is my 
AC input, but not necessary that my output shall be only sine wave. It can be any other wave and then it can be converted into sine wave if you want to display as a sine wave. So let's see what are the types. So first is a square wave inverter. Your output waveform can be square wave. Even though if you are changing it from DC to EC, you can get a square wave inverter. Then this, this square wave inverter can be then change in a sine wave or any AC form by using some other devices. Then you can have a cosine wave inverter also. You can have a cosine square wave. You can see this. If uh, you know the concept of a return to zero and non-return to zero, if you apply that, uh, with the help of that, you can understand uh, you can have a PWM that is a pulse width modulated inverter if you want to have a different pulse width of the output waveform that can be done so you will at that time your output will be pulse wave modulated if you see this waveform the width of each pulse it shown over here is different so it is a modulation which, which is takes place to change the width of the pulse so you can have the output as a pulse width modulated output and then it can change to the sine wave and at the end you can have the sine wave that is a simple and the form which we want uh, to be achieved at the output side that is a sine wave you can achieve then next type is classification based on the power semiconductor devices used as i said as a switches you can go for a, a thyristor and uh, when we think about the thyristor we only think about the scrs but we have other devices also those comes under the thyristor for example igbt so here i have categorized the thyristorized inverters can be using scr scr can be used as a switching device then thyristorized inverter using transistor you can go for a power bjt uh, this transistors can be used as a switch because you know tra transistor is basically used for a switching application now this can be decided as per the frequency requirement if you are working on a low frequency if you are working on a medium frequency or a, or a high frequency depending on that you can change the switching devices the switching devices which will work on a high power application you can go for a high power application then you have a mosfet based inverter mosfet your switching speed is very fast for a mosfet if you compare with the bjt so you can for a, if it is for a high power application you can go for a mosfet then you have a igbt that is insulated gate bipolar transistor which is a combination of a characteristics of a bjt and mosfet that can also use as a switch so these are the four options these are the four devices which can use as a switching device when you are designing any inverter there is one more point which is to be considered that is a commutation circuit the commutation as i said when it comes to the dc to ac you need to have a commutation circuit so the way you are commutating your thyristor it is very important to know what kind of method you are using to commutate that particular thyristor so depending on also this is called as a series or a parallel how how the way you are commutating all thyristors connected in a different point in your circuit how the way you are commutating those uh, devices it is categorized as a either series or parallel so these these are the different types of inverters we have and uh, depending on the application you can choose any of the inverter from all of this point so basically you have to look at the requirement what is your requirement what you want to have at the output side and depending on that you can go to select any one configuration out of this all configurations we have studied thank you for watching this video stay tuned to ekida do subscribe ekida thank you so much